welcome to the grow closet. I'm going to close the lights off in the grow, grow closet. Turn the lights on in the major room. And let's take a look. This is the <clears throat> this is the day that I was going to apply this uh the spider mite gone one uh, product. That's the very first one uh, that we made up. If I can find it. I don't see any webs. This is the black. And let's take a look at the Agent Orange. And no webs. There's leaves that need to come off. This leaf here. Now this is the, if I can get this to show, you see this discolored leaf here. And I'm not put, hooking this up to the uh, to a magnifying glass, but there's, so anyway, uh, this is the stuff that we're doing uh, tonight. And just looking for the, and these leaves I'm just taking off. I'm going to take these leaves off and then smoke them. Yeah, immediately. I haven't smoked anything today. I usually don't until after my work day is gone. And, well, never. You actually need to keep your head, or I do anyway, uh, during, during the work day. Now, this, <clears throat> you see those spots up there? That's what happened, I believe. Yeah, I do. Uh, when they're shiny spots. I have to get a, a magnifying glass. But that was the spider mite gone three that I hit this with at 2 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> and so anyway, more leaves coming off here and then I'm going to try to find the spider mite one. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh this smells good when you're picking it. And I only pick one at a time so And the, so the black will be next. And we take a look at these at the tops. One thing we can take a look at is this thing probably needs to be raised again. So the Agent Orange is actually growing and upwards. And that had stopped doing that. And what is this? This is a radical leaf here don't look good at all. And so whether or not I should be taking these bottom, and that seems to be what, where the, the spider mites on this particular plant start, on the bottom, in the bottom area. And that's why I have the bottom bottoms here, and there is no, I've taken everything off on the bottoms much of everything, at least half of the uh, foliage has been removed from this plant and this plant is the plant that's in good shape compared to the ones that I pulled out of here. Oh, this is all interesting. I have no idea. I got a feeling that I have some spider mite gone, one gone, and that's the that's the stuff I cooked up on on camera and and it's in the archives or in the archives it's in the, one of the old videos you can go back and that was the first spider mite infestation so you're going to have to go back about a year ago or so and uh, yeah this has been going on for a long time the spider mite I had no idea that the spider mites would be this hard and I was telling a uh, subscriber the other night, last night, 
that I really honestly believed that this first product was going to do it. And, it, and if I had used this first product uh, every three days for uh, a couple weeks, then uh, it may have done better, but then it may not have because you have to, the way I understand it, um, fluctuate your uh, your products that you're using on on the spider mites. Otherwise, they become immune to them, become super spider mites that you created. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Well, that's it. So let's see if we have. Uh, we, the royal we. I'm going to have to stop doing that. See if I have um, some of the old spider mite gone. This will be, this is Agent Orange. I don't know how well I'm going to function. And we'll put these, just a few leaves. See this? This is a lot different uh, procedure than when you have a great big old bunch of bunch of this you don't want it too dry but you don't okay, you need to dry let's it. take a look oh i gotta clean out my refrigerator this is the last stuff so this is a spider mite two which is the base of the last stuff That's spider mite too. It's foamy, and this is foamy. So that's spider mite two too. And in fact, that might be spider mite three. I hope not. And this, oh, I'm so organized. Uh, spider mite one. And so that's this is the original. And I got. Oh, I gotta clean this out. Try another refrigerator. Yep. And here, a bunch of stuff, but uh, here is spider mite gone. This is the original spider mite. Now, when I put this in the package, in the refrigerator, because I, I don't know how long it would last on the shelf, but this is from the original packaging. This other stuff that just can Candida Vambita Earwash. This is something that I make for the company that I work for. Okay, so that's it. I really hate to use the spider mite gun that's all packaged up and beautiful and everything like that. I use this. I have two small plants. That's all I have. Uh, so and, you know, I can uh, cook some more up. You can cook some more up, too. It costs hardly anything. Uh, full instructions are on the video. Okay, uh, this needs another 30 seconds. You see some condensation on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. That's coming from the plants themselves. I usually do this to kill spider mites. There may or may not be spider mites on, on this... Well, there's probably, uh, well, definitely there would be eggs. These leaves were discolored. Uh, I need to get a, a bottle here. Uh, here's a sprayer. And I'll get a... Hey, hey, I'm gonna fire this up. Oh, 
This is going to be really nice and fast and easy. I'm sure glad I got some of this left. Saved it. This is close to a year old. But it's been refrigerated for the whole year. And, uh, and as you know, I showed it to you, I've got one that's that. I'm going to mark this. I'm going to start marking these uh, so I know what, which is which. You seem to think that I would have better discipline than what I do. Okay, uh, this is cold, but you can see when I shake it, well, there's a little bit of foam, but it's not foaming. I don't have, I have, have not put the oils in, uh, and to make it foam. So, that's not happened. So, yeah, I lost the leaf. off of this one. I should. This is the black. In fact, some of these aren't looking very good at all. And so saying that, let me, I think this whole thing has to, this whole thing down here isn't looking that good. I got to get rid of this one like to keep them separated. Okay, this, oh, well, this is almost, that's probably done enough, but if I was going to just sit it overnight, it would be done, but it's not, because I'm going to smoke it. <laughs> that's my Agent Orange that I just picked. I'm going to hit it for another 15 seconds here. And I'll smoke it. Hooray! And as you can see, it's dark outside. Dark outside. So, we've got that. Okay, so this is a total of a minute and a half for this. And that's enough. I'm just going to let it sit. Okay. Uh, I really don't like videos for the people that are making the video sit around and smoke and so now I'm making one just like that with the pot here that I just uh, picked and dragged. Uh, there is nothing fresher than this pot right here. Now here is a little, this is a, a nice little thing. I got really tired of uh, buying big lighters and disposable lighters. I got this Ronson here. This is a jet light, light a jet light. I have a speaking disorder. Um, I bought it at Winco Supermarket in their tobacco section for less than five dollars. Five dollars, and I think the uh, Ronson. Uh, butane was about anyway the whole thing was about eight dollars and so far it's worked good once you get these Ronsons working they seem to work good and it takes a uh, there's tricks if anybody has a Ronson that they bought new at Winco and can't make it work uh, drop me a line on YouTube I will heck, I can even make a video on that but that's not what we're doing tonight one hit and that's another thing I'm trying to do it uh, make my hit so that one hit will last three hours and the actual thing is it stays in your bloodstream for a lot longer than that uh, wh uh, while that you're loaded so three hours this is about seven o'clock so ten o'clock I'll take another look and decide whether or not I want to have another hit I probably do Probably will.
then, but I'll be loaded until then. If I get loaded on this stuff. Ha! Okay, now what I'm going to do with these tops here, this is Agent Orange that I've been just throwing leaves in. Throw it in here, that's it. And they're segregated, and these plants are way different. Each one's different from the other one. You get a different. Let's take a look at, uh, I've emptied this. Let's take a look at the back here on these lower limbs. I'm taking this off. Nice little top. It would butt out. I'm, I just, I'm just afraid. The nice little bottom. And see, this thing doesn't have that much left. It just doesn't have that much stuff left. Huh. And I so hate to... Uh, huh. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Huh. This whole thing goes. That's a shame. And... I'm just so afraid of these spider mites and these bottom leaves are not looking as good. Well, I don't know if you can see it. That was actually a good looking leaf compared to the, some of these. buds, or not buds, but they would turn into buds. Oh Lord, this thing goes. I may not have as much of the black here as I was hoping to have. One second, one second, my kitty wants to go outside. Yeah, best to let the kitties go outside to do their thing. But I don't know. Looking at this plant, it really makes me wonder whether it will survive. There's been so much damage done on this plant. So terrible much damage, and I'm damaging it more tonight, obviously. Before a treatment. And the treatment is the cure. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Oh, there you go. Mm -mm. Yeah, see, I. This wasn't my intention take a whole bunch more off of the black, that black. Okay, that's it. That's it, I'm not doing anymore. Both plants are ready to go. I watered them yesterday. And let me see if I'm actually, am I hitting? Can you see? Oh yeah. This is the, the no foam. I'm going to put a label on it. I'll have to find the label uh, that says Spider Mite. I don't have Spider Mite 2 label or Spider Mite 3 label at, yet, but I do have the. And this Spider Mite here might, if I would have had the. If I had applied it more often. It may have been, it may have saved my first crop, but I didn't. And this is sticky. This goes on sticky. And this sticky, 
everybody. I sort of like this little pot here because, of course, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I need a cameraman. Huh. I mean. Okay. Maybe that'll be better. But I can pick this pot up. And, and so this is, I bought this pot at um, Bymart, and it was on sale. At Bymart, you can find some good, good stuff there if you wait for the sales. Or anything, right? This is a discount store. Okay, and as you can see, I'm working. I've got about a, that much of the bottle left. Or gone, which is what, a third? No, the uh, fifth. And I'm doing this on the bottom. Oh, here's a leaf I hadn't noticed before. It's, no, uh, I can't think of nothing other than it's infected. Because, see that burnt part there? It's burnt. Unless it hit a light, I don't think it did that. node that comes off. All these should probably come off. I should not have anything here on the bottom. I don't think. This is uh oh this one looks pretty good. Famous last words. So I'll just throw those on the floor and dry them later. This is just garlic. 100% garlic. Cooked up and, uh, and I showed you, it takes us a 24 hour cook. Alright. Now, tomorrow we take a look at this, the leaves should be shiny. They're not shiny right now. Oh, why, why? Well, And this also, if you hit the pot with it itself, on the top, like I say, it's sticky. That's not going to stick. It doesn't. Okay, so this is almost half a half a bottle. All right, so that's over with. Oh, I bet you we couldn't see anything, right? I'm such a terrible movie maker. Okay. And even with a large production uh, budget, <laughs> hey, production budget. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's better. Now, oddly enough, I hit this plant with uh, seventy percent uh, rubbing alcohol. I mean, seventy percent isopropyl alcohol, and. It was infected. I hit it on, yeah, you've seen it on the video. It was a mistake. But boy, these tops look pretty darn, uh, pretty darn good. I didn't say, I wasn't going to say anything. Okay, here we go. So, let's get these tops. I'm going to use the rest of the bottle here on, on this plant. This is a much denser plant, and now on that one hit, the cook, I'm not really feeling that much right now, and this is it with hits, rather than sitting and hitting five or six times to begin with. Hit once, and show a little bit of, especially when you're growing this much pot. I mean, geez, I got all kinds of pots. I got pounds of pot. I'll, I'll go into that in a later video. Just off of this program here, just coming, pot, 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 pot. Uh, these lights produce so much uh, foliage. I'm so happy with the lights. This is my uh, main thing was, uh, while I was developing the concept of the lights, was to develop the lights. You know, putting together the lights. 
And, um, ah, this is so much fun. Okay, so this, uh, I'm just going to finish this bottle up. This plant here, getting down to the bottom of it. Ah, oh, boy. Now I'm just going to use about one bottle. <laughs> I got that other bottle. And I have some more in the end, uh, at the bottom of that uh, quart jar. I'm not cooking this up. I have never cooked anything more up than in my little saucepan. So, it's not like a health food store cook or something that, for a natural product. This is, this is for my, I'd like to hit the stem. But I'd also like to hit the bucket a little bit. So this actually could have used a little bit more than what I'm going to put on it. Squirt the dirt too. Yeah, I'm done. This this thing here should be out. I I don't even see anything left in it. It's still squirting. Nothing left in it. Still squirting. Nah. I was joking. Obviously, it stops squirting. That's it for tonight, guys. Uh, it's, it's an application of the spider mite gun. I got all this stuff on the floor. All these things. I kicked them around and stepped on them. That's not what to do. <laughs> so, that's not what to do. I'll wash this out. Use it again.